The effective lack of moisture on the growth of mushroom. The more factors that influence the deformation of the mushroom, the more difficult it is to diagnose. Now we will look at what happens to mushrooms when, in addition to insufficient humidity, there is also high carbon dioxide. Let's take a look at these two photos. There was a slight lack of moisture in both cases. However, on the right photo there are a lot of small dead mushrooms. And they have already dried up. This means that at the time of their formation, the humidity in the chamber was extremely low, and then the humidity was added and the rest of the primordia grew, but the CO2 was high enough. So, the legs stretched, but the mushrooms developed quite well. But not all mushrooms developed. Probably, with the gradual addition of moisture, a part died, but some part survived and continued to grow. On the left photo, mushrooms are better, they can be sold. But it is clear that among the developed mushroom there are a lot of deaths. This suggests that at the time of the formation of mushrooms there were some problems with humidity, possibly it jumps. Part of the mushrooms died. And there was a slight lack of humidity as the cap of the mushroom is slightly bent. And here is high CO2 plus high temperature. Mushrooms ripen quickly. Because their task is to give as many spores as possible, they become thin. The hat turns up. That is, the plates are unfolded so as to throw out the spores as quickly and as far as possible. The mycelium reacts to conditions. The humidity is low. The temperature is high and the ventilation system does not work well. Therefore, there is a high content of carbon dioxide in the room. Now consider what happens if the temperature is low and the humidity is also low, and the level of carbon dioxide is high. At low temperatures, mushrooms grow more slowly. If high carbon dioxide plus low humidity, they may die. Since small pins evaporate moisture from their surface and, if the air is dry, they cannot grow. They become sticky and turns brown. If the humidity is slightly lower than optimal at low temperatures, the legs become thick, but empty, as if wadded. The mushroom begins to die. Such mushrooms are not tasty, it is better not to eat them. Brown rims around the edges of the cap speak of a lack of moisture. The cap stops growing. It grows a little and stops. If you see such a picture, then you know it is low temperature plus high CO2 and insufficient humidity. If you periodically try to raise low humidity, radial stripes of a darker color are formed on the hats. This is called water hammer. There are tears in the internal tissues of the cap. They look like stripes. In the right picture, pimples or waviness of the cap along the edges are clearly visible. This is also due to the fact that the humidity periodically rose. But basically it was low, sometimes rising to the optimum. But still there was not enough moisture for the mushroom. The surface of the cap is dry, it does not look alive and wet and the color has already become pale. ND these photographs clearly show that the mushroom is weathered. That is, the mushrooms have become discolored and have yellow dry spots on them. This happens when the humidity is low, and the air near the mushrooms blows at a high speed. The air from the ventilation system is blowing dry or there is a strong draft. Then the mushrooms evaporate a lot of moisture from the cap. They become thin, the hat becomes discolored. CO2 is normal here. Brown edges of the caps and yellow spots indicate high air speed. This speed is not needed, it must be reduced. How to increase the humidity in the growing room? Install a more powerful humidifier. Watering the floors at low humidity will not help much. Mushrooms cannot absorb moisture at low humidity in the growing room. Primordia die if you are watered. If the humidity is low in the room, and you water the primordia, they will die even faster. We need a humidifier that will create optimal humidity. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my own channel.